What's going on guys? My name is Citizen Nuketown and welcome to my gaming setup video. I promised to do this for my 500 video, 500 subscriber video, but I did not have a good camera for doing it. Now I have a good one uh, that I borrowed from uh, my parents. So uh, let's kind of get it started. So over here, you can see my Xbox, my glasses. <laughs> Pretty fucking simple. And I got uh, Modern Warfare 3. Black Ops 2, uh, and I got Splinter Cell in the Xbox right now because I don't want to play Black Ops 2 because it's bullshit a lot of the times. But uh, yeah, my gaming headset, as you can kind of see right here, it's the Turtle Beach XL1s. They're really, really cheap. They were like $40 a year ago. They still lasted and they're not terrible, but you don't get like, the greatest sound quality. And I'm going to try to upgrade them soon. Uh, one thing that's really terrible about them is you have to play in 480p as you can see the red and white things right there uh, Those attached to the turtle beach and you have to play in 480p for it to work And for my controller, I got a standard Xbox uh, wired controller you see the wire right there wired is always better than wireless because you your diary Yeah, <laughs> your diaries your batteries always die out and it's pretty Terry brew when that happens moving on to my TV see my pants there. Ooh, look at me. Do the wiggle. Uh, there is my TV. It's a Panasonic, some bullshit, doesn't really matter. CRT TV. Uh, I like playing on CRT TVs because they have zero response time, if you guys didn't know that. It's kind of a lag between when it shows on the Xbox and when it shows on your TV. And uh, tube TVs, all of them have zero response time because it's basically the speed of light traveling hitting the screen. If you're looking for a gaming TV to have and you don't want to spend money on like a really high-end fancy one, get one of these. Don't get a fucking LCD or plasma or any of that bullshit. This thing works really well and the only thing you have to kind of uh, work against is the fact that it's hard to see uh, sometimes with 480p and kind of the condensed screen. But uh, yeah, that's what happens. In my apartment, I'd have another TV right there, where that door is. Just a door, but I'd have another TV there, my HD one, playing single player one games and for recording. Uh, I'm not going to go upstairs to where I actually record my games, from move my Xbox all the way upstairs, but I do that. Um, moving on. Do, 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 do. Fancy times. All right, there's my PC headset. It is a Sound Blaster Alpha Tact uh, X3D, some bullshit like that. I do my commentaries on it. As you see, there's the mic, the little fluffy thing. Uh, it's a pretty good headset if you're looking to get some basic uh, commentaries done with. It also serves as a really good like kind of headset by for like listening to music and stuff like that. Uh, and it's lasted me a year. Considering how badly I treat everything, it it lasted forever and I highly recommend it. It has the kind of green thing right here that you can listen, you put into your like mp3 player or whatever and listen to music and this red one right here that focuses properly uh, that one you can uh, attach so people hear game chat. If you don't have the red one like I do on my PC it comes with this thing right here. It's a USB adapter where you stick the red and green one in and it makes it work, which makes it awesome. Moving on, uh, we got my Roxio HD Capture Pro bullshit thing. Don't buy it, as I said in the video before. It makes your videos all blurry and shit, but uh, there's the HDMI input, HDMI output, and the power thing. Hopefully that didn't turn out horribly because I was not paying attention to what I was looking on on the camera. But moving on. Uh, we got my laptop. Derp. It is a Lenovo uh, ThinkPad U410, some bullshit like that. It's basically, it looks like a MacBook, and it's the PC version of a MacBook. So it's pretty good. It's a good Ultrabook if you're looking for a higher end laptop. But if you're looking for a gaming computer, just build your own PC. It's far less difficult than you might think, and it's Fair, well, it's a bit cheaper, but um, see, I got Sony Vegas open, I got Skype, people are wanting to talk to me and shit, but uh, that's pretty much it for the gaming setup. I don't even have a desk because I'm a scumbag 
And I usually just pull out one of those TV dinner trays. But uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And I love you guys for the 600 subscribers. And if you want to see more vloggy type things, just ask me. I'll always be here for you. But that's my face. See ya.